uh, a word on, on human rights. Human rights, um, democracy, and, and the rule of law are core values of the European Union, embedded in its funding treaty, the, the Treaty of Rome, they were reinforced when the EU adopted uh, the Charter of Fundamental Rights in 2000. And they were further strengthened when the Charter actually became legally binding with the entry into force of the Lisbon Treaty in 2009. Uh, in your opening comments, you spoke to human rights and non-state actors. Um, I was wondering, how is the, the delegation's take on the matter concerning Raul Garcia um, and his human rights, which he feels are un under question? I don't, I don't think I'm going to express uh, any political views <laughs> on, on this matter. Uh, it's a very delicate matter, as I understand. Uh, and it's, uh, it's not only a question of human rights. I mean, you are you're yeah. welcome to ask a question, yeah. but uh, I, 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 mean, I would appreciate you welcome me not answering this <laughs> delicate question. <laughs> Barbados, of course, as you know, and to a large extent, most of the rest of the region have a long tradition of democratic governance. Um, we practice the traditional things which we call human rights practices, freedom of press, um, respect for law and order, uh, <coughs> property rights, um, one, one man, one vote, or one person, one vote, the usual things which uh, we like to designate as those types of statutory things that uh, clearly characterize the country as a democratic country. However, as Mr. Grant said, I think quite correctly, the, uh, democracy goes uh, far beyond um, the question of voting and a free press and uh, the ability to hold property uh, and freehold or otherwise. It really speaks about the culture. It's a lived experience. It speaks about the culture that persons have been in their own communities and how they relate to each other. And the more you have of persons who are liberated from the constraints that uh, prevent them from realizing their <laughs> true potential is when you will get ultimate democracy. And I believe as a country and as a region, we must continue to question the way we practice democracy and search for a system of governance, in my mind, that will take us safely through into the new millennium. Democracy to me and to us must mean more than one person, one vote. After which, much of the time, one is left with a very undemocratic system to govern. This is the essence of any human rights agenda which we must pursue. Furthermore, our ability to close the social and economic gaps that promote and maintain poverty and inequalities rather than promote equitable wealth creation, sustainable livelihoods <laughs> must be seriously examined. We have to find a way to promote a democracy that really takes us way further than, than where we are now in, in, in this present dispensation. In concluding the negotiations for this small grants program, our last meeting at the, the Ministry of Economic Affairs in Warrens, we had some debate on the objective which speaks to human rights. I remember that we were saying that maybe human rights is not as important to us in Barbados as human resource development and capacity building. But our friend in the EU coin put it very rightly that education is a human right. Um, access to uh, things like clean water and such is, is also a human right. But I would also urge grantees to take the opportunity to look at how we can, as a civil society, seek to redefine and reshape our own notions of democracy as well as a, as a notion of human rights as well. I believe as a country and as a region, we must continue to question the way we practice democracy and search for a system of governance, in my mind, that will take us safely through into the new millennium. Democracy, to me,